Newton's fourth celebration of the Juneteenth holiday took place on Saturday, June 15th at the Hyde Community Center. The celebration had appearances from the Myrtle Baptist Church including storytelling to children, performances from the choir, and multiple booths and food trucks with local black owned businesses. This is my second year sharing the event. I was previously involved, I'm a board member of the Harmony Foundation and Forge, and so we've always been in the mix of supporting the Juneteenth celebration, but this is my first year leading, or second year leading the organization. Tamika and other planners helped make the celebration a great time to show strength in the community and for everyone to be together to celebrate such an important time in history to those who still may be unfamiliar with the history of the emancipation of the black slaves in 1865. Growing up, I didn't know about Juneteenth, and so having a holiday that celebrates black culture, black storytelling, black art and dance, it's really, it's foreign to me in a way that really delights me because it's something I can share with my children and with myself as a way to celebrate um, my ancestors and the folks who, who struggled and came before me in a really jubilant, celebratory way. Booths cover the outside of the park with all different kinds of causes going on and local businesses as well selling items like clothes and jewelry and you can even get your face painted, which was a favorite from past years. My grandmother used to make clothes and quilts for us every year and so playing with her scraps and different things I started creating different pieces. Um, it later turned into a business after gifting it to friends and friends and friends asking where they got it from and so it just was a mind of its own and took off. I really hope so. You know, I feel like even with my name One Dope Queen, it's really to uplift and I can't say it's specific to women because it kind of just depends on what you take from what it says. But I really hope to, you know, make people feel better about themselves, make them smile, let them know that they are dope on the inside as well as the outside. The event overall was a success with so many smiling faces and groups of people dancing and enjoying the moment together for a day that will be remembered as the day the slaves in America were free and get to celebrate freedom on days like this. Alec Brown, New TV, Newton Highlands.